Hey there viewers, good afternoon, welcome back to the channel, you're here with me, your Birdman, we're playing Dwarf Fortress, we're in Verse Tomb, uh, and I am not entirely sure what's happening right now, I've recorded for about two hours, the game crashed, and the footage uh, apparently was uh, corrupted, or something was wrong with it, it's no good, so I don't actually know how much we've missed. <laughs> so this is going to be an adventure for all of us as I try to figure out what's happened since the last seasonal autosave. Okay. Well, here's something I know that we were doing. Silver Thrones and Tables for the taverns and the library. Um, also, we have lost... Okay. We had some holdings down here. Some new villages were founded and given to us. It is the first of 275. Okay. We lost a lot of progress there. Oh yeah, also we're catching purring maggots. We'll just let that happen for now. Okay, so I need to... I need to back up and do a few things here. <laughs> okay. This needs to be dug out again. This is our burial level. Okay, we're going to get that dug out again. Wait a minute. I did miss one. Okay. We'll get that dug back out. Okay, this is... Which squad is this? Okay, this is the Roads of Growth. We're waiting. We're waiting for Logan to roll up so we can kill these trolls. <laughs> okay. This is really weird. I already did all this, and now I have to do it again. You know what? These things happen. Am I right, folks? The agreement to establish a guild hall for the Feral Company has been abandoned. Well, I don't even remember what... Th that didn't happen last time. That's weird. Hmm... Well, don't know what that's about. Moving on. Um, yeah, great. That's going to happen a lot. Okay, so for right now, we're just waiting for these guys to roll in so that we can kill these trolls. Oh, man. We were just about done with the trolls, too. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're waiting for a couple more. These are all linked, right? Yes. The good news is I've seen how this goes. Digging out this burial level. I'll explain again what's going on there. When we get to that again. Oh boy. Okay, let's so let's just let's just do this. Let's just get this done here. We're just waiting for a couple more militia dwarves to wander into the kill room here. We'll kill these trolls. Okay, the black mob is dead again. Yes, unfortunately, our snake has died of old age. Um, nope, come on. <sighs> Looks like somebody already picked it up. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> Leather image. Do like 30 of those. Silk bag. 36, I think. <laughs> We're also trying to clear out some stockpiles here. You know, the weather is clear. That, that's great. That doesn't matter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're waiting for one more. Somebody brought a baby. Somebody brought a, br brought a baby. Baby, baby. To the kill room. Okay, there we go. Now, I had been raising the drawbridge, but you know what? There's not going to be enough time for the trolls to escape, so just go ahead and pull that lever. We'll actually give that a second. 
Oh, and actually do let's return down here. There is no need to continue baiting these traps. Thank you. We've got plenty of purring maggots now. The good news is nothing super amazing happened. Um, we tried to occupy a few settlements and it just didn't take for whatever reason. Also, one of our squads got half killed by some donkeys in an elven settlement. See, and there, there it goes. And we're done. Okay. You can go now. Now then, <laughs> still fighting with that cough. We need to prep some more trolls here. Okay, good, that's been done. Tell you, it was uh, real bewildering when the game just closed and I realized, oh no, I forgot to manually save at any point there, and this was the last seasonal autosave. Well, these things happen, don't they? Okay. Alrighty, folks. Um, let's have you stand by for a bit. I will get things set up and stop them from rebaiting these maggot traps, so that stops happening. And I will rejoin you here in a bit when there is something to report. And we're back. Just wanted to show you folks what was happening here in one of our existing burial chambers. We are removing the coffins for installation down here. Um, but in the meantime, they're just dumping all the corpses and Luth's teeth and stuff on the floor. Exactly what you might expect from our dwarves. We're going to install some new coffins down here. I am operating under the continued assumption that the dwarves are having trouble reaching the burial receptacles, and that's why some dwarves were not getting buried. So this time we're going to be a little more careful. We're going to put some space between the coffins. And hopefully, this will work. This should be satisfactory for our purposes. We are a little off pattern here because since this is a residential level, this should also be a residential level, but we're using it for burial because really, what are coffins but apartments for dead people? Am I right, fellows? I can hear you agreeing with me. Yeah, we're using up a bunch of our textiles and such uh, just to get them out of the stockpiles. We're making coins. Those are going to be a gift for the mountain home. If we make it to the next caravan. Of course, the barracks is absolutely stuffed full of dwarves doing individual combat drills. They will not work with each other. <laughs> It's fine, I guess. Like, we're obviously doing okay in the militia department. Okay, great. That's about ready to go. Um, do let's dump all this, please, before the room fills up with miasma and gives people unhappy thoughts. Also, it'll be a more pleasant combat space if we're not tripping over corpse chunks. You know, I want this to be a pleasant experience for the dwarves. The trolls I'm less concerned about, but the dwarves need to enjoy themselves. Even though, of course, we're not checking their temperaments before assigning them to the militia, not every dwarf 
has an internal psychology, right, that is suited to combat. Let's go ahead and don't rebate those. Yeah, we got some more. That's what we like to see. Oh yeah, something else I was going to do. Um, we're going to cook some seeds here, because these don't grow underground, and I am not interested in bringing more food into the fort <laughs> at this exact moment, so we're not going to do any above-ground farming. What we will do is prepare a bunch of lavish meals. drinks, make mead, keep the dwarves happy, ish. Okay, install that last one on the bottom left, please. We're being systematic about this. Where are you taking that? No, you're bringing it back into the room. So why did you start to walk out of the room? I don't understand you, dwarves. See, it looks like they can crawl right over the coffins, but I swear they were having trouble getting to the ones at the back of the room, so I don't know. In any case, this will be a slightly more uh, visually pleasing design. Look at Stasost helping out. You're going to be buried in one of these too. You're not getting a special tomb. Why would you even ask that? Yes, good. We're clearing the kill room. Well, this is the fight room. The fight room's on the left, the kill room's on the right. Cage room, and our criminally underused prison, if you'll pardon the expression. Our dwarves are just too law-abiding. Alright, let's launch an attack. We, um, we successfully torched Fiend Waved. Just nothing really happened there. Uh, menace depresses, we're going to go directly for it to make up for lost time. Raise, assign the roads of growth, underway. You'll get him, Logan. Now, has his tomb already been unassigned? No, not until he actually leaves the map. That's good to know. Good, Stasos is finishing off that. Okay, we're going to go one row at a time here. Give it a few ticks. Check. People have been assigned. Weirdly, I think these are exactly the same dwarves that were assigned in the same order as last time we did this, which must mean that they're assigning them in the order they died. That's intriguing. Oh, I guess we can do the next set as well. Gotta give it a moment. Gotta remember, everything's moving very slowly here right now. Uh-huh. Okay. And the next row. Okay. This row's about to be done. Okay. We can no longer make mead. We're out of honey. And here come the corpses! Beautiful. We spend a lot of time handling corpses here. There are reasons our dwarves are so disturbed. keep saying our like anybody other than me is responsible for what's happening here. Okay, well that's all of the first chamber, I guess. Well, not quite, but we're getting there. Okay, there. So that's happening. Those have all been broken down, but we can go ahead and start on the next one. See, some of these are empty, and that bothers me, because I know we've had plenty of dead dwarves, and those have been available, <coughs> and yet we're not putting the dead dwarves in them, which I don't like. <coughs> of course, still dealing with that cough, that's going to be a thing for weeks longer.
Let's see, when this goes up, it should be February 5th, and I've been coughing since, like, December 20th. I wish I could say this was unusual for me. How we doing? Okay, they broke those down very quickly. Let's install them quickly. We need doors. I'm gonna make this a meeting place so the dwarves can hang out here. Stand amongst the bodies of their fallen friends and associates. I'm not gonna demand that they all be friends. That would be absurd. How we doing? Uh, we're waiting for Toulon. Who is just grabbing food. Okay, and we've um, we've had a giant eagle kidney stolen from one of the traps. Are we done with these yet? Looks good. Please stop rebaiting the traps. I, I don't like getting interrupted like that. It's it's very annoying. Anyway, we were stalking Toulon, who's currently on um, her way out. Moving at a decent clip, all things considered. Heading west to get east. Much like Christopher Columbus. Um, you know what, let's go ahead and start digging out the next one of these. doing that weird lensy thing again. I don't think that's just my eyes. I think that's the visuals. Looks like the screen is bulging out. Very interesting. Let's see, how many more do we have? Lots. Okay, we'll designate these. Give it a few ticks to catch. And everybody's being buried. Fantastic. Thank you. Yes, please get those off the floor. Well, they've had they've had coffins designated. They they're not being carried there quite yet. It, it it's getting there. It's going to happen, okay? It's going to happen. Get off my case about it. Although, hey, while we're looking at this, we got steel now. Who still needs gear? Are we actually okay on gear? Nope. Okay. Yeah, that was all from here. Glorious tones need greaves. And we need more greaves. Okay, let's make, like, 20 sets of steel greaves. Or exactly 20 sets of steel greaves, I guess. Yeah, we're going to aggressively empty our stockpiles when next the traders arrive. They're going to have to take a lot of stuff they don't want. And I just, I don't just mean tattered clothing and trade goods. I mean, like, furniture and stuff. <laughs> They can take everything we have that's made of troll fur. I'm telling you that right now. Okay, that's the same baby that was born before. So we got a baby girl now. We're at 166 dwarfs. 176, actually. Um, assuming things proceed mostly how they did before, we'll be receiving a very large migrant wave in the near future. Ooh, the trolls are installed. And they're linked. They seem to be linked. Who wants to fight the trolls? How about the creative fountains 
our fortress guard. They've been doing good work. Let's reward them by forcing them into gladiatorial combat with prisoners of war. I'm a good leader. One of them is bringing a book to the fight. Are you returning that book to the library? Is that what you're doing? Dacost? Could you not have dropped that off before going to your station? There you go. <laughs> Silly me, I won't need reading material during a death match. Who's interrupted by what now? A giant fly? Okay, is that our problem? I'm pretty sure that's not a problem at all. Five, six, seven. We're waiting for three more of them, it looks like. Is anybody going to bring a baby to the fight? I do love it when the dwarves bring their babies into fights. What are you doing? You're sleeping on top of the lever? Why? Aha! The Hillux of Syrup Emerald has been founded nearly a day's travel to the southeast and incorporated into your holdings. That is a different settlement. That's a different settlement than we got before. I'm enjoying seeing the randomness here. Okay. There it is, Syrup Emerald. So that's ours. Population of 50. That was true before as well. Also, um, something I want to point out. The capital... Dagger Romance is now empty. Unclear what happened there. However, if we go in here... You can see that Ngebzo is still our queen. So they moved the capital, but not to here, which I am choosing to take personally. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Waiting for one more. Yeah, I'm having a really hard time counting the dwarves. Oh, look, Zahn the Ghostly Mars Dwarf, Mark's Dwarf has risen and is haunting the fortress. Yeah, we're gonna put you back in the ground. Quit complaining. We're working on it, you see? You see us working on it? Give it a few more ticks. Check. There we go. And we need more. No, wait, I want... Eh. No, there's no good way to do that. Okay. Unless we do like this. Yeah, we're, we're being aesthetic about it, okay? Yeah, that'll work. And uh, we'll install some up here. There, that looks nice. I did a good thing. I'm a good boss. Do we have any statues left? Yeah, we do. Put a statue there. I don't care what it's of. Okay, let's check in up here. I think we got everybody. Okay, lock the doors. I am again counting on the trolls not having enough time to escape. And we've caught another prairie maggot, despite the fact that I told you not to bait the traps anymore. Who's going to pull that lever? Who's going to enable this? I could have been done with the whole month's Dwarf Fortress filming by now. Oh well. Why are you all... You're all stepping up to the sleeping guy and t stealing his stuff and walking away? <laughs> that seems to be what's happening. There we go. Aban the Poet. Okay. Levers pulled. Trolls are out. Fortress Guard is engaging. Not expecting this to be as clean as the fight with the Roads of Growth. But they are winning, handily. 
They're not scrubs. Okay, we're done. Great. Unlock the doors. Let them out. Break down some more troll cages. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go ahead and get rid of these empty cages. <coughs> this is good. This is a good thing we're doing. Right? Right. You don't think I would do the wrong thing, do you? I would never. I'm happy with the choices I'm making here. And with a little movie magic, we're a little further along. You can see the burial chambers are coming along nicely. And very importantly, the roads of growth have returned from attacking uh, Menaced Depresses. What a name. Well, I think we know how that went, but let's go ahead and read the report anyway. Out they go. Wow, that's a long walk. Okay, they got out there, they took everything. Rampage, seized livestock. Okay, so there was nobody there, is what I'm getting. We took a book. We also took a lead bar, a rope, an axe, a boot, a single copper boot. <laughs> and of course, four beak dogs, because it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be a verse tomb raid if we weren't walking off with beak dogs. We did actually torch the place, right? No, they, they didn't raise it. I want it gone. Yeah, we'll try again in a bit. Let's see, does it say they have population? It still says they have population, so that's a little odd. We should, uh, we should be getting trolls in place. Trolls in place for the killing of. Okay, and then we should also be doing the dumping of. After the next time the merchants come through and we force them to take all of our garbage from us, we'll uh, drop the smasher and clean house a little bit. Okay, there we go. We got everyone. Oh, pull that again, please. Reset the lever. <laughs> they just leave the corpses on the floor. They're just like, all right, we're done with this coffin now. Dump. Oh, you gotta love the dwarves. You have to. It's required. Silver tables. Oh, we're disgusting. So opulent. But the dwarves like it, and that's what's important. Let's see, are these all claimed? These are all claimed. So we install another row. Turns out we got a lot of dead. I don't know if y'all noticed. We've suffered quite a few casualties over the life of this fortress. Mostly, I think, as a result of goblin attacks. These are all claimed, right? We've used these. We've used these. We might have to fill in the aisles between the coffins. We're going to see. There are a lot of dead here. This can be a sculpture garden now. There we go. We're going to engrave these. It'll look nice.
It should make the dwarves happy. And while I'm really not that concerned with their happiness, you know, they, they are. And it behooves me, as someone trying to be a good boss here, to try to keep my employees reasonably content. Yeah, this is me, what me trying to be a good boss looks like. There you go. Keys are getting away from me a little bit there. There we go. Smooth it all. Make more rock doors. Just make eight of them now. Oh, you know what? This can also be a sculpture garden right now. We don't have to wait on that. We got the doors in place. Ba-boom. Oh, the roads of growth are back. Um, you know what? Let's reward them. Oh, good. The cat has adopted a strand extractor. Do we need to geld anybody? Doesn't look like it. Good. Good. Okay. Now we need to get these installed first before we can reward the roads of growth with a troll fight. Is that a reward? Is that something they want? I don't know. I, I keep characterizing the dwarves as bloodthirsty, but every time we look at their psychology, and it's, you know, six pages of felt nothing after seeing a dead goblin, one has to worry if we've just rendered them emotionally catatonic with all the bloodshed, which might honestly be the better outcome. Just given the kind of world they live in. Is that Eshtan? That's Eshtan. Eshtan the one-handed. Poor guy. And only an adept Marks Dwarf and Dabbling Hammer Dwarf. Not even a real warrior. have to be a little careful here that I'm not designating one of the cages in the uh, prisoner room over there. Don't want to accidentally set a bunch of trolls loose over there. That would be the wrong thing to do. Oh, we should cage those purring maggots that we've got. Just the one extra. Okay, we're doing that. We should... Nope, we can't. Okay. How we doing over here? Still preparing lavish meals. I think we might trade some prepared meals away to the merchants. Just to get rid of them. It's unclear what exactly is causing the slowdown, but the, the many thousands of food items in our stocks might be contributing a little bit. Oh yeah, we have beak dogs that need to go away now. Uh, butcher, 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 butcher. Eat him. The children are playing in the kill room, which intrigues me. Are they playing murder? But then if we go down here, we go down, go down. We go down. If we just keep checking hotkeys. Nope, I don't know. Where is our cage stockpile? I keep finding it by accident. Well, it's not here in the the grand stairwell. Where the heck is the cage stockpile? There it is. One of the children, I think it's this one here, Aerith Boat's Respect, likes to play in the cage stockpile. Thrun Soldier. Hold it! There's a wild Thrun Soldier on the map? 
Kill. Maim. Destroy. What is that doing here? Get out of here. No intelligent undead. Leave. Good. The dogs and the bobcats are on it. Do we lose anybody? I don't think so. Okay, well, immediately take that to the smash pile. There might be some bones and stuff in here, but we're just going to go ahead and dump it all. How we doing? Let's check our stocks. What can we get rid of? We got some more cloth we could do away with. We can do some more wool. Let's do 20 more yarn images. Still not clear exactly what a yarn image is. I'm assuming like a goblet cozy. Did I already say that? Or was that last time? <laughs> this is a nightmare. I can't even remember what commentary I already made. Ugh. However, during one of the breaks back there, I did drop an extra save just to be on the save side, eh? Eh? Laugh. Not you, the dwarves. Well, I got right on killing those beak dogs. It's only February in the game. I don't remember the names of the months. <laughs> We've been over this before. Okay. Okay, I think we officially have more burial receptacles than we have dead dwarves. Maybe. Let's make sure. Nope, I know we have a few more that need to go away. Let's just go down one floor at a time, make sure I've gotten all the coffins. I know there are some down on the farm level. Okay, there's nothing in the stairwell. Just a few loose rocks, which is not OSHA compliant, but it's fine. Oh, I always forget to do this. Wait a minute. I missed it completely. There we go. These. You're not dead, so why do you have a coffin assigned? Did I did I do that? <laughs> I don't remember. Okay, apparently we're out of yarn cloth, which doesn't seem correct. Oh. Except that those must be in the hospital. So that's fine. Okay, let's do some silk then. Let's do like 30 more silk images. Go ahead and keep uh, embellishing things. Do a little embroidery. Maybe that only works on clothing. I don't know. Again, can't stress this enough. I don't actually know what I'm doing. Okay, my back is starting to seize up from sitting here, so I will rejoin you momentarily. And would you look at that, we got migrants! Right on schedule. Is this gonna be the huge, enormous migration wave we got last time? There were 35 dwarves in that wave. them filter in while I wait for Dwarf Therapist to update. Let's see, are these installed yet? Uh, just about. Installed, linked, whatever. Well, currently at 187, we 
Are we going to hit 200? <laughs> Is this going to do it? <coughs> Are we going to have to expand our population limit? Okay, let's have a look here. Migration wave. There are... Uh, yeah, reportedly 30 dwarves in that wave, um, which is going to put us very close. Very close. We're at 195 right now. We'll check again in a moment. We do have enough bedrooms, I do believe. We got 20 per level here. 40, 60, 80, 100, and 20, 40. Sixty, eighty. Two hundred. Plus the noble rooms. And so assuming that some of our dwarves are married, we still have more space than we need. Uh, 195 looks like is going to be where we stop for now. So, um, really what we need at this point is a trade caravan. So that we can offload our garbage and send gifts, obviously, to the mountain home. That's what the coins are for. The silver furniture is for us. Yep, 195. Alrighty then. Um, well, you know what that means, actually. So what we can do is uh, create a new squad, actually. Um, we're going to make them... We're going to make them conscripts. The walled princes, fine, whatever. And we're going to assign any ten random dwarves to them. Fantastic. We're going to give them some time to equip themselves. And then we're going to try something here. Um, let's pick a target. Let's pick... Well, shoot. Let's pick Malign Seduced. Uh, we're going to occupy it. We're going to demand surrender and occupy. Or, um, what, what is the... Uh, what is it actually called? Uh, details. Yeah, demand surrender and occupy. Or conquer and occupy? I'm not sure how much it matters. But we'll give everybody a chance to get settled in and equipped. Uh, no, they're good. Okay. Let's let's just go for it. You know? Worst case scenario. There we go. Sign squads, wild princes. Get out of here. I don't know how this is going to go down. They could all die. That's a real possibility. We got some extra room now. We got extra room. Not sure what we're going to do with it. Possibly, well, it could be noble bedrooms for like minor nobles. Uh, you can go ahead and put poor Urbad there in a coffin again. Nope, we, we are once again choosing to grab mm -hmm, one of Urvad's teeth. Yep, that is the fate of poor Urvad. His teeth will always get moved first. What are you doing? You just picking up equipment? Yep. <laughs> Welcome to the fort. Get back out there. Well, if it doesn't work, they'll just come on back. Which is not ideal, but it is acceptable. Okay, great. We're just waiting for one more linkage, which is here. Nope. There it is. There it is. Locum the Stoneworker. Who has to go get a mechanism. And that's going to take a minute. So while we're waiting for that, we're going to move the roads of growth in here. Just uh, pre-station them. 
are you and what are you doing? Limmel the manager. Legendary appraiser and organizer. Very nice, very nice. Our former expedition leader. What do you have there? You have an iron crossbow. Dropped, I guess, by the dwarf that was sleeping on top of the lever. That was a little weird. I bet these three dwarves could take ten trolls all on their own, but we're not going to find out. I'm not taking any chances with our militia dwarves here. Okay, well, that's half of them. There goes the final linkage, so the trolls are ready to come out. Now we just need the militia. Oh, there went Logan. Picking up equipment, I guess. Hey, we're done with steel bars. All right. That's what we like to see. Does anybody need anything? Oh, we still need greaves. Are we working on greaves? We're still working on greaves, but that should be it. Should be the last of it. Fantastic. You'll love to see it. Okay then. Um, even though we don't need them, let's go ahead and install these coffins. And then we'll uh, get started over here as well. Just get everything pre-installed, and then when we need them, we can activate them. Cool. Hey, the tables are ready. Still waiting on the militia, so let's go up here to the tavern level. And we'll begin tearing apart the tables, which will now become probably uh, caravan fodder. I don't know, tables are heavy. Oh, not those, these. Let's make sure I didn't do that over here. Okay, good. Good, good. How are them doing? They are out of here. The fort of Malign seduced a half day's travel to the northwest has been conquered and incorporated into your holdings. We did it, team. Go down here. There we are. Economically linked to you. There's Noble Buckled. There's Syrup Emerald. 185 dwarves. Alrighty. Fantastic. Probably no point in requesting workers from them. All right. We're emptying out the uh, taverns here. Let's go ahead and put some silver tables in. Not quite done clearing the furniture there. Did we do it? We did it. The disgusting opulence of our fortress. What a problem to have, right? Being worried about, oh man, are these silver tables too luxurious? Not something I'm ever going to have to worry about. Boy, I hope I never have so much money that buying solid silver tables for every room in my house seems like a viable option. Hey, we got chairs too. Okay, why is there miasma in the barracks? <laughs> uh, we can disband that squad now. How are we doing down here, gang? 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think. I can't tell. We have either eight or nine dwarves there. And you know what? That That's probably good enough. Go ahead and pull the lever. We're not even going to lock the doors this time. If, if the trolls head for the doors, we'll lock the doors. But I don't think it's going to be an issue. I think we're good to just... Kill. Where are you going? Where are you going? You're filling your water skin? <laughs> now? Alright. Oh good, we got all the greaves. You are storing an own item. Who is pulling the lever? It's always the question. Who's going to do the deed? It's English the Spinner. Trolls are out. Militia's engaging. The trolls are falling. There we go. Like flies before a flamethrower, or something. Okay, next. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Which leaves us with another, I think, sixteen. So let's just do them all. Sixteen? Six. We have sixteen total, I believe. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. I'm missing one. Well, we'll see what happens after they uh, get them moved into the stockpile. Okay, that's looking pretty good. So what we're going to do is pop over here to Dwarf Therapist. Bring up our stone detailers. You all have seen me do this before. Go ahead and just refresh things. We'll give that a moment. Okay, what needs to be happening right now? We need to be attacking something. We need to be attacking something. Let's attack Menace Depresses. No, we already, we already did that. Oh my dear goodness, okay. Raid. Remove, remove. Sign squads, roads of growth. Go, go, go. That should be enough, right? <laughs> you think? Oh, I can assign another. Let's assign the Crystalline Swamps, just to make sure. Give him some Mark's Dwarf backup. Insurance. Great. We are installing silver tables. And the dwarves are thinking, silver? Really? We're just going to ruin these tables. Stone was the more pragmatic option. But of course, this is fine dwarven tablecraft, so they're impervious to stains, right? Impervious to tarnishing. Um, out of curiosity, have we moved all the assorted dwarf corpses into new burial containers? Kind of looks that way. Well, in any case, these are all goblin names, which means they're probably part of trolls. Ooh, we can do bones and totems. All these dismembered troll corpses. I maintain that we're the good guys here. Okay, apparently we're not going to do anything with that dead mamba. I guess they're not comfortable eating a pet. Let's also make sure the remains go away. Never mind that hamsters are perfectly edible. So are rats for that matter. Okay. 
All right, now then, we're just going to make sure that only legendary engravers are enabled. Okay, great. We have four legendary engravers in the fort right now. And we're just going to do the exterior walls. both rooms at once. This will be a nice place for the dwarves to hang out. <coughs> well, not really. It'll be an okay place for the dwarves to hang out, but it'll look nice. Fantastic. Oh, look at that engraving masterpieces already. Shem over here. Nope, that's Tekud. I want Shem. Shem Faint Bronze, creator of something. Legendary miner, engraver, and mason. Well, aren't you just the crafty stone worker? Beautiful, beautiful. Hey, we're done with those silver coins. Um, what else we got in the bars? Got some gold, iron, copper. We could make some more, we can make some copper coins. They're not as good, but uh, I suppose it depends on how much copper's in them, right? <laughs> hey, there we go. The Hillocks of Oiled Kindle has been founded nearly a day's travel to the southeast and incorporated into your holdings. Let's look at holdings. Hey, there it is, right next to the other one. Okay, fantastic. Fantastic. We're getting there. So really, at this point, we just need to give gifts to the mountain home. And on that note, let's wrap it up for the day. This has been a productive session. Hey, folks, thanks for watching. Thanks to those of you who are subscribed to the channel. Thanks to those of you who are not yet subscribed to the channel. And thanks, as always, to those of you who are watching this without ever intending to subscribe to the channel, if you made it this far, because you count too. Every view counts. We'll be back here next week with more Verse 2. Uh, and in the meantime, we got some Green Hell, we got some Shadows of Doubt, we got some Alan Wake coming up, and we're also in the middle of the 50 subscriber Call of Cthulhu special. Uh, although we're sitting at 75 subscribers at the time of recording, I'm a little slow on the draw. But uh, otherwise, if you just wait long enough, there will be more Dwarf Fortress. So hey, I'll see you folks next time, and until then, Birdman out! <laughs>